Hey guys, Ashley here with Toying Around, and today we are going to be doing a quick box opening and review of this Harley Quinn DC superhero figure, or DC superhero girls figure, rather. So you can see the front of the box here, and then on the back, let's bring the camera up a little closer. It says, saving the world from the plans of supervillains isn't easy. Especially when you have to rush home right after, sorry, this is a little blurry, right afterward to study for a big test in Heronomics. But that's just a day in the life of a student at Superhero High, a school where you not only learn how to control, let's see if I can get this to focus a bit, we not only learn how to control and master your awesome powers, but also the value, the value of teamwork and the importance of being comfortable in your own super skin. Fortunately, your classmates know exactly what you're going through, as every student here is trying to figure out how to be a superhero and a super friend. It's Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is, an, is unorganized and unpredictable, but she is also fun, and even though her classmates don't always get her humor, she never stops trying out new material on them. Harley loves being the center of attention, even if it means acting like a clown. Superpowers ex expert gymnast, acrobat, and quick-witted. And you can see the other ones down here. Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Bumblebee, Poison Ivy. Well, and Poison Ivy. Again, sorry that that was kind of blurry. Might have had it too close. It might be because it's just a bit darker in here than normal. I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably be getting Wonder Woman and Batgirl, and I know for sure that I really want to get Poison Ivy. I saw her recently in store, and she looks really good. I thought I would be showing her a little bit in my toy hunting video, but that got a little messed up. That video is everywhere. Okay, so now let's get Harley out of the box. Sorry, the camera was zoomed a bit more than I intended it to be. All right, so let's see here. Can I just rip this or should I cut it? Yeah, it looks like it'd just be quicker if I cut it. Well, maybe. Well, at this rate, you're going to spend most of the video watching me struggle with packaging. There we go. I didn't need the scissors. I knew I, should, I shouldn't have to use them. Okay, so there she is. Still in the shrink wrap. Get her out of here. I guess I should probably try and stay on camera. Ah. Well, that's an odd position. Let's stand her up. All right. Get her mallet out of here. Just to get this out of the way. Okay, so... Before, we'll take a look at her mallet in a minute. First, we'll take a look at the articulation. So, it looks like she has a, what do they call this, a shoulder hinge. Her arm can move all the way around in a circle. She has an elbow hinge and pivot. Her wrists turn, I'm assuming it's the same on the other arm, yep. Head can turn all the way around if you so desire. Her legs move about like that, far forward, that far back. Out that much so she can do the splits. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. It says that she's a gymnast. There is no ankle pivot. It does bend around the knee. She does bend around the knee, rather. Eek, an ankle pivot would probably be ideal for some more articulation. She is really nicely painted. Good sculpt. I did see a few of these where the paint seemed chipped a little on the hair, so some are kind of hit and miss, I guess. The pattern pattern on her front of her shirt does not continue onto the back, but I don't think that really takes anything away from her. Seems like her paint is really good. As I already stated. Now let's see her mallet. Her mallet's a bit plainer. It's just completely red and then the handle's blue. I believe the bigger one has a black 
and red one. Let's see if we can get her to hold her mallet. Well, it doesn't fit. It doesn't like snap into her hand, so it's kind of loose. So she's not as articulated as she could be, and she doesn't necessarily hold that mallet the best either, but, whoa, I like her. I'd probably give, I'd probably um, like her a bit better if she'd hold this mallet correctly. Um, let me see. Oh, when she uses it two-handed, that's better. Okay, so I take back what I said. She holds her mallet a lot better with two hands. Still, though, I would I would have liked the ankle pivot, I think. She doesn't have an ab crunch either. That would have been neat as well. But I think that for what she is and from the toy line she is from, she is, like, really good quality, and I really like her. I really like these uh, superhero, DC superhero girls anyway. I was looking at some of the bigger ones, but... As I think I said during the haul video where I showed her originally, I would just be worried that her hair would get totally ruined after I opened them and moved them around a bit. Plus, the dolls don't have as much articulation. So, considering that this is an action figure line, I believe it's geared a bit towards younger uh, girls. That, yeah, it says six and up. So, for being geared towards younger girls... I think that they are really well articulated and they're really good little action figures and they're really well priced I believe this was six dollars I think <laughs> um, that might be wrong if it is wrong I'll correct it in the description or I'll add a note into the video I'll probably correct it in the description um, might have been ten I don't know I seem to think I got her for six dollars it may have been some sort of sale or something but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick little toy review of Harley Quinn, uh, DC Superhero Girls, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! Just a little add-on to my action figure review of Harley Quinn. I wanted to show how uh, big she is in comparison with my Hulk. I believe he's from the Titan series that I got at Salvation Army. So as you can see, Hulk is about 12 inches not quite 12 inches but almost 12 inches and Harley is ju just at 6 inches so that just to give you a good idea of how big she is sorry I forgot to include that almost forgot to include that uh, so that is all bye